Is she you? She's my mom. She's my, she's my BFF. She's, she's my mom. She's my, she's my sister. She's my next door neighbor. She's my grandma. Ask me a blessing. She's my sister. She's my coworker. She's me. My clothes and house no longer smell like smoke. She's me. I have more money to spend on things that I want. <laughs> she's me. When I became pregnant, I decided it was time to quit. She's me. I have more energy during the day. People in this part of the country are pretty down to earth, uh, Nebraska. For the most part, you, you take what is given to you and you either make something out of it or you don't. I figured in my own mind that, that why not give myself the cutting edge chance? Why not make myself part of something that, that could actually help a lot more people and actually make me feel, feel better too? I'm glad to be back in the Nature Center. Uh, I'm Harold Varmus, and as you, thank you. That's the basic science and clinical science, but it does public communication, it does uh, training, it does policy formulation, and that is that everything that we do and everything that we say will be based on evidence. I saw my chance to help. I waded in. I learned everything I could about my mom's options, checked it against her doctor's advice and tried to summarize it all in language my parents and sisters could understand. It was all very rational, except, of course, I kept crying. I was a little girl who didn't want her mother to suffer or to die. But I was also an adult daughter who could be there when her parents needed her, even though we lived thousands of miles apart. Finally, I called and got both parents on the line. We worked our way slowly through the summary I'd prepared. With my heart racing, I asked mom if she understood that a clinical trial might be her best bet because only a third of women in her situation were alive five years after regular treatment.
have one child who has a very benign variety who can be cured with no therapy at all, not even surgery, and the disease just goes away. But there's another child, another probably 50% of patients, where the disease is very, very aggressive. There was a sick bug in my belly. I always thought it was that. They were trying to treat me as a three-year-old. By telling me it was a sick bug, but I could be treated like a five-year-old.